All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, what are we doing in this video? Well, we're going to continue talking about our significant week. In other words, we're going to call it hashtag significant week, right? And because SIG has decided to go ahead and put a lot of their stuff on clearance to move forward with some other items and everything, but what that does is it gives you some pretty cool savings. All right, so last couple days, uh, we did a review on this guy right here, basically a box opening. And one of the things that we did not do was talk about the reticle uh, within the deal. So, yes, this thing is calibrated for a... 556 five, round 77 grain typically so uh which is really cool because uh the guys over there at sig sent out some of this ammo right here now i will say that well uh i'll put the link down below where I, you'll see the full video but i tested almost every 77 grain out there and with the exception of a single flyer that was like this big, uh, the SIG 77 grain marksman, it is the elite. I've looked online and so there's different boxes, but this is it. Uh, this guy was the second most accurate with the exception of a flyer. Now, if that it may be my fault, but uh, I'm perfect, so no, I'm just joking. But anyway, go ahead and check that out. But for real quickly, I would like to go ahead and show you the video of the SIG 77 grain testing right now. This is five round shot groups out there at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. All right, here we go. Stand by. Boom. Uh, I want to try the uh, Six Hour Elite. And this stuff is actually uh, very consistent. I've, I've shot this before out of a couple different rifles. I'm going to save five rounds uh, as if this is the good stuff, then we're going to be... I don't think anything's going to beat the uh, Nexus. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is unreal. I feel sorry for the rest of the ammo in the world. Unreal. All right, bottom right. I feel like if something's going to beat it, it's going to be these next two. Oh shit. It's not bad. Shit. Without that flyer, I think we would have had a match. All right, so there you go, folks. That was a really, really good uh, shot group. Uh, like I said, the only thing that outperformed it would it, I should have probably used another five rounds and done a, a another test was the uh, Nexus and uh, right now tip on the SIG's website this stuff is like thirty dollars a box uh, right now I think they got it on sale for twenty five dollars hold on I actually have the website pulled up right now stand by wait for it yeah uh, so you can get this specific ammo right here for $25.99 a box or 100 rounds for $127. It actually went up. Yeah, no, yeah, that's five boxes, $127. Okay, so in, in any case, um, really good ammo, well tested. It's uh, not the hunting round. This is the open tip stuff. This is the good stuff. So, um, yeah, so let's talk about something else. They're getting ready to do the SIG Romeo 1 Pro, which we'll go ahead and put a review out on that tomorrow. Um, like I said, if you, do me a favor. I know this is more of a sales pitch or anything else, but I uh, would just do the hashtag, one single word, uh, significant, significant week. <laughs> yes. Um, so go ahead and put it down there, and uh, you guys will get some uh, good savings. If you go to uh, guys over there at Optics Planet, and I know I had a couple of people say, love your channel, KB, and I thank you very much for loving my channel. Uh, I'm hoping that, uh, and I know for a fact that uh, Optics Planet has, in has uh, increased their performance on getting stuff out when they're supposed to. I don't know. Give them a chance. Order something small. See what happens. Uh, by the way, yeah, that rifle, the lower rifle right there behind me is the uh, the rifle that I'd shot that video with. Um, so what we're doing also, just rambling on a little bit, 
Uh, we're building that new upper with a proof research barrel. Where will that barrel get off to? Oh, it's right over there. Um, we're going to build that upper. We're going to put this optic on it. I can't do it until probably next week or so, uh, or maybe even longer than that because i got to get my membership renewed out there at the uh, Mifflin County Sportsman Association. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get that tested out to distance to see how well this reticle works. It'd be nice. It is a decent reticle. Looks very familiar to some other ones that I've seen before. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll sit down and do a tutorial on the reticle and how it works as well. Um, okay. And then we're going to close with this. So in my last three gun event, watched a lot of people go out and shoot open. And with their shotgun, open shotgun means that you're a box fed, semi automatic, or you've got a tube like Jerry Mitchell uses, which is a, that, tube feeders. Uh, they're pretty cool setup, but I decided, and I got the hair up my rear end, to go ahead and buy one of these things right here. The Rock On Armory, this is their VR80. Now, why did I buy that? We'll do a separate video on that coming up. This is the aftermarket accessories, and yes, they are on their way right now. So with that being said, guys, uh, this is a pretty good deal. Ammo, that ammo is top. And what makes the difference is, uh, is the uh, devi standard deviation, okay, the extreme spread, um, consistency with a good elite sniper round. So, guys, we'll end it like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Is freedom is not free. And, again, like I said, I'll put the link to that full video down below so you can go watch the full comparison of all the ammos and literally guys i i nozzler match gorilla frettle ppu barnes uh norma all of them uh black hills uh the uh i actually have some mag i just was rummaging through my ammo stuff and i found two boxes unopened of the magtech 77 grain sierra match kings so that's it y'all be good and the great words of the real COVID burnout <laughs> i'm out of here boom y'all be good